the second partition the second local storage on your esx side you're going to see only one storage so what does it mean i'll show you step by step so let me share my screen all right so how are you going to create the um red bar partition there's all of you guys already knows but if you don't know you can watch my video like i have another separate video just for like how you can create a weight system so I'm just giving a high level overview. So whenever you want to do a RAID system, then you from your board screen, whenever you see the uh, press uh, control plus R, immediately you have to press control button plus R from your keyboard and hit multiple times the R, and then it will take you to the this screen. So in this screen, uh, all the way up, I'm not showing you how you're gonna do the RAID. So it, there is a process, you can watch my video and you can see, you can you'll be able to, made the uh, partition. So I have to run two partition here. If you can look at here, this group zero and this group one, that means I have a one hard drive as just read zero, one partition. And then I had another partition where I have total six hard drive. On the right side, if you can look at here, six physical hard drive and it's a, um, another partition. So group number zero and group number one, that means partition number one, partition number two. So I made two partition, but whenever I'll log into this machine, I'm not gonna see the second partition. I only, because I installed the ESX in this data store, in this partition. So when I log into the ESX, I'll only be able to see this is as a my local data store. But how I can mount this data store, which one I made the partition, and this one has a uh, like uh, huge space. So I, how I can mount it on my local, as a local register in my ESX. That's why I'm going to show you in this video. And, and also don't forget to um, initialize when you create it. It's, it's not the part of uh, this video. I'm just giving an information. When you do the RAID system, after you create the RAID partition, make sure you select the, your partition space and then hit F2. Oh, sorry, the space. F2, and then initialization. Hit enter initialization, and then go first initialization. Don't forget to do it. If you have a two partition, three partition, doesn't matter. Whatever you create the partition, please do it. Okay, this is not actually part of this video. So I'm just explaining. Now I'm showing you. You have two partition. One partition, I would, on the first partition, I will install the, or you maybe install the ESXi. But how, after you install the SXA and configure the SXA, when you log into the SXA, like the spare um, client, and then uh, the spare host client, and, that, and, 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 and um, from that host client interface, you're not going to see this space. How are you going to actually get this space? That's for the mounting, mounting the local, local register. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's go to, to log into the one of my SXA. So one in total one sixty one dot one dot twelve. This is one of my ESX site. I'm going to log in there. So if you look at here, storage only one, right? In fact, you here data store one. And that is the lowest space which one I assign. That one is showing, and I installed the SXI on this data store. 
That's why you can you can name it in a different way based on your host name. So my host name is you can rename the default one. So how I can rename it? Just simple. Say um Okay. Actually, I rename it to the decenter, and I have a decenter. Let me log into the decenter. Yes, decenter. The decenter is but I cannot use it. I can access it from here. Okay, so it's a this machine. So if you have a December or if you don't have a December, doesn't matter. I'm going to show you in the both way how you can mount a local storage in specific in the success host. So that host can be part of a UV center or it cannot be a part of the December. I'll show you what option. So the recent I logged in like here. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So this is called VSPR host client interface. Individually, I log into their specific machine. And this machine also has the part of a vCenter. So if you look at here to the server, I log in. So if you look at here the data store from the vCenter, I selected the host from the vCenter. It's a part of the vCenter. That's why. And go to the data store, you're going to see data store number one. Easily, you can rename it here. Rename it. You can say, based on the host name, you can say local zero one. That's good. It's up to you how you're going to name it, and then the host name, DLS, MST, host, user So that means local data, data store number one, local data number one on host number this, right? That's what I, I just mean. And then there's another partition. There's another partition, which is not strange, right? So how are you going to show in this machine also has the same kind of partition? But it's not showing as a local storage. So how are you gonna like uh, mount it? Right click on it, go to the storage, say new data store, and then specify data store type BMFS, which is virtual machine file system. This is a virtual machine file system. Ensure it's called BMFS. You'll by default is selected, just create the new and uh, we click next. And then you're gonna see the local storage in the one you have it. So you can I'm just I'm just showing you from the distant interface. And then, if you don't have this center, directly log into the ESXi, which is called ESXi host client. And then, right click on the storage, click new data store, create new BMFS data store, click next, and then select the data store and provide the name. So same thing, same thing, same thing. You can say you can say local, local zero uh, two, local zero two data store. This is the second one, right? And your host number is uh, ELS MST host zero two, right? Just name it. It, it, it doesn't matter. It, like what is the name is local data store is, is up to you. So this is the second local data store on my second list excited. And this is the space available. I click next. And now you want to do full or you want to do custom. It's up to you. So I want the full utilization. If you don't want full utilization, 
you can just change it and also the virtual machine file system you can say that by default is uh, bmfs 6 because i'm using um this xa7 so this xa7 is uh virtual machine file system 6 that's why by default is 6. <laughs> so you have to remember this also like um, which virtual machine file system is using um, um, and then click um, next and then finish yes so within short time you want to see your second data so you see here the second data is there and now you can build your string thing on this local storage so that means i just added my local storage to my individual base of storage to the vsql host file now this host is already a part of a v center if you go to the v center you're going to see the same data store already there you see it's already there It's already there. So if you go, like, select it, and then you see the data store is there. Simple. That's it. This is the way you can mount the local data store. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And if you think this video is helpful, please give it a good thumbs up and also make some comments. And new comments encourage me a lot to make more videos for you guys. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.